Question number 24. We are told a particle was moving along a straight line. The acceleration of the particle after t seconds was given by 4, 8, 40 minus 13 meters per second squared. The initial velocity of the particle was 18 uh, meters per second. Determine the value of t when when particle is momentarily at at rest. Uh, so when the particle is uh, momentarily at rest, it means v velocity is equals to zero. Uh, we have the acceleration is equals to uh, 40 uh, minus 13, and this is uh, meters uh, per second square. Now for us to get velocity. We integrate, so velocity is equals to, we integrate 40 minus 13 uh, with respect to dt. Uh, this is equals to, uh, this will give us 40 squared uh, minus 13t. Uh, 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 that is, you divide by 2 uh, minus, uh, we are integrating, uh, plus c. Uh, so this uh, v is equals to, uh, 2t squared uh, minus 13t uh, plus c. Uh, from there we say at t is equal at t is equals to 0, v is equals to 0. So we say uh, we say uh, no at uh, not uh, v is 18 uh, because the initial velocity is 18 meters per second. So 18 is equals to 2 times, that is V, that is 2 times 0 squared minus 13 times 0 uh, plus 18. So 18 is equal, this is 0, this is 0, is equals, uh, is equals to C. This is uh, not 18, is so C is equals to 18. Uh, so our velocity is equals to 2T squared uh, minus 13t uh, plus 18. When the, the when the velocity is momentarily at rest, uh, that is v is it means that v is equals to zero. So we equate 2t. We equate uh, 2t. Uh, this is uh, we equate 2t uh, squared minus 13t plus 18 is equals to zero. Uh, uh, and therefore, this is a quadratic equation. Uh, we factorize, multiply 18 times 2, that is 36, get two numbers such that when you add them, you get minus 13. When you multiply, you get 36. So the two numbers are minus, uh, that is uh, 9, minus 9 and 4. So we factorize, uh, or we can say 2t squared minus 90 uh, minus 40 is it plus 18 18 is equals to 0 so here we say uh, t uh, 2t uh, minus 9 and here we factor out minus 2 we get uh, 2t uh, minus 9 is equals to 0 uh, 2t minus 9 and uh, t minus 2 is equals to 0. So t is equals to uh, 4.5 or t is equals to 2. So those are the values uh, we, we use to get the value of t. Uh, from there we go to part b of the question and uh, it says uh, find the distance covered by the particle when t when time t is equals to 1 and uh, t is equals to 3 seconds now to be able to do that uh, what we do is uh, we we have integrated uh, so you find that uh, since we are talking of uh, uh, if you draw a sketch here uh, this is 1 2 3 4 so you can see the graph we, as we have seen uh, we say 1 2 3 4 uh, and we can say 5 this is our x uh, this is our y 
and we have said the graph cuts actually the graph cuts the, our 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 x-axis at at 2 and 4.5 but we are we want to find the area from 1 so this means that if maybe possibly our graph looks like this our graph looks like this like that uh, continuously so we need to find the area here uh, which is under the graph and uh, and the the area above the gra the graph that area you did that when you are doing integration so we say uh or maybe so we say the area uh, area between one and two uh we have a uh, uh, two t uh, squared and uh, then we have a uh, uh, minus 13 t and then we have plus 18 uh, you put uh, this is with respect to d t so when you integrate uh, you'll be able to get uh, 2 over 3 that is you add one here and you divide by 3 t cubed uh, minus 13 t squared divided by 2 uh, plus 18 t uh, the, the limits are 1 and 2 uh, so this will give you uh, so you substitute for 2 uh, so this is equal so this is area 1 you can call it area 1 uh, this is uh, this is 8 this, uh, uh, 2 cubed is 8 times 2 so you get 16 divided by 3 uh, minus uh, this is uh, t to power uh, t squared 2 squared is 4 you divide by 2 you get 2 so this you get it is 26 uh, and then this one you you 18 times 2 you get 36 uh, then you say minus uh, you substitute for 1 you get uh, uh, this is uh, 2 over 3 uh, minus 13 over 2 plus 18 using your calculator you'll be able to get uh, this is 15 and a third uh, minus 12 and 1 over 6 uh, which will give you 3 and 1 over 6 so that is the area and uh, the, 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 uh, between 1 and 2 the other one is uh, which we can call area 2 is equals to the area from uh, 2 uh, to 3 so and uh, this is a uh, 2t squared uh, minus 13t uh, plus 18 uh, dt with respect to dt so you integrate this you'll be able to get uh, uh, this is a uh, 2 uh, that is a uh, you integrate when you integrate I uh, think we can all, we, we, we can already we can just use uh, the one that we have integrated here uh, so we need uh, we have integrated this so we have it is 2 over 3 uh, t cubed uh, minus 13 over 2 t squared uh, plus 18 t and the limits are 2 and 3 so you just substitute 2 and 3 and you say this is a uh, t, t cubed is a uh, t cubed is 27 27 uh, divided by 3 is 9 9 times 2 you get it is uh, that is uh, 18 uh, we put the bracket there we minus you uh, you uh, 3 squared is 9 times 13 uh, so you get 117 divided by 2 plus 18 uh, that is uh, not 18 but uh, uh, 54 18 multiplied by 3 uh, you minus we can remove this uh, we have already uh, uh, finished with that uh, you substitute with 2 but remember here we substituted 2 what did we uh, we got uh, when we substituted 2 we got uh, or we just say this is equals to 
uh, we substitute 2 uh, yeah we got uh, this is 16 over 3 uh, minus 26 uh, plus 36 that's what we got here so this will give you uh, when you compute that you get uh, it is uh, it, that will give you uh, minus uh, that will give you 1 and 5 over 6 uh, so when you get that uh, so total area we, we get the total area total area and uh, the, the graph it is equals to 3 and uh, 1 over 6 plus 1 and 5 over 6 that will give you uh, uh, 1 and that will give you 5 that will give 5 square units so that's how you get the uh, you work out the, 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 the area covered by the particle or the area under the curve where the particle uh, moved uh, so by doing that you get 10 marks